In this video, we're going to cover downloading and installing ZebraD and configuring ZebraD to run on an external drive. To install ZebraD, open your browser and navigate to github.com forward slash Zcash Foundation. Select the Zebra repo. Scroll down to the build instructions. To install ZebraD, we'll first need to install Rust, a libclang, and a C compiler. To install Rust, navigate to rustup.rs. Copy and paste the curl command into a new terminal and run. Enter 1 to perform the default installation. We can verify the Rust installation by typing Rust dash dash version. Next, we're going to install libclang-dev and g++. Enter the command sudo apt install libclang-dev g++. Once the installation is complete, navigate back and copy the cargo install command for ZebraD. Paste this into a terminal and run. This will take a few minutes to complete. To run ZebraD by default, simply type ZebraD start. ZebraD will begin downloading the blockchain. The progress will be displayed in the terminal. To stop ZebraD, simply press Ctrl C. By default, ZebraD will store the blockchain database files in the home.cache folder. If the files are hidden, select the menu on the top and select Show Hidden. To change the default location, we need to update the ZebraD config file. To generate a mockup config file, enter ZebraD Generate. Copy and paste the mockup config file into a new blank file. The data directory location is located under the state header. Copy and paste the absolute path into this line. 
To visualize the absolute path when connecting to an external drive, for example, navigate to Other Locations. Select Computer. Select Media. Select your username. Copy the drive and paste into the config file. Enter the database folder name at the end of the line named Zebra. This is the default name and ZebraD will automatically create a Zebra folder if one does not already exist. Save to apply the changes to the file. The default config file location is in the home.config folder. The default name for the file is zebrad.toml. Next, navigate to the home directory and delete the zcache params folder. Alternatively, you can rename or move this folder if you plan on switching back. ZebraD will automatically download a new Zcash params folder. Restart ZebraD. We can now see the new configurations and storage location. In the next video, we will cover installing LightWalletD, configuring ZebraD to run with LightWalletD, and connecting a LightWallet to our internal server.